This is Brightline, a train that's changing passenger rail in the US. And today, I'm going to be riding in their premium class to see what they're actually like. Brightline recently opened their new service from Miami to Orlando, and apparently, Brightline has been rated the best train in America by many people. It leaves here from Orlando Airport, and I'm also going to be traveling in premium class today, so this is the equivalent of first class on an airplane. Let's go. So one of the important things to remember when you're riding on Brightline is that Brightline does not leave from the main part of the Orlando Airport. They actually leave from Terminal C, and it's on the southern side of the airport. In order to get there, you can either take a shuttle or you can take what they call the monorail here, which is like an air train. And that will get you to Terminal C where you can board your train. This is the monorail station to go to Terminal C. So you'll wait here and then you'll board the train and it'll take you down to the Brightline train station. To get from the main part of the Orlando airport to Terminal C, it takes the monorail about four minutes. And before I knew it, we were already pulling in to the Terminal C monorail station. Then I made my way up this escalator and headed up into the bright, brand new, and modern train station at the Orlando airport. Welcome to Terminal C. This place is absolutely incredible. It's massive, it's modern. This feels like a Europe train station. This does not feel like the US. Well, right there, you can see the board for the trains. And I'm on the 1150 southbound train going to West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Aventura, and Miami. I then headed towards the train station and they have this big bright line sign and then I made my way into the premium class lounge. You can see they have a massive food selection here, they have cold drinks, they have a coffee and hot drinks machine here and they have a bunch of food, you can make tea, it's a really awesome selection. Alright I just got my food, I got a sausage, omelette and some potatoes and hot chocolate but I'm gonna eat this and drink my hot chocolate but I'm really excited to travel in premium class on the train and this lounge is absolutely awesome as you can see it's big and this lounge is for premium passengers only so if you book a premium fare like I did then you get to hang out in this lounge and they have a bunch of food options over there as you can see the station is really nice they have a bar and restaurant here they have some shopping here and they have a lounge where everyone else can hang out but this is a really lovely train station and I'm about to get on board the train and go to Miami. Then they announced that my 11.50 a.m. train down to Southern Florida was ready for boarding. So I got on the escalator and headed down to the platform. All right guys, and there she is. Here is our train that is gonna take us to Miami. I am so excited to get on board and ride Brightline. After heading onto the platform, I stepped on board car number one, which is the premium class car here on board Brightline and I made my way to my seat to get ready for this three and a half hour train ride to Miami. The seats up here in premium class are configured in a one, two configuration, and there are 46 seats in this car. This is different from smart class where the seats are in a two, two configuration. The train then began to move and we were making our way out of Orlando station. Around 25 minutes after leaving Orlando Station, the train attendant came through the car with the lunch service. The train attendant just served the meal. Here we have some fruit, have an Italian sandwich with salami. Then we have salad and some vegetables here. But all in all, this looks like a pretty good meal and I'm excited to eat this. As we make our way down towards Southern Florida, let's go ahead and have a look through the train. We start in premium class where the seats are configured in a one-two configuration. This is nice because if you're a couple, you can sit on the side with two seats, but if you're a solo traveler, you can sit on the side with one. To the right, there's a restroom right next to premium class, and then we head towards the first smart car. As I mentioned earlier, smart class is configured in a two-two configuration. Something to note with smart class is that there's no complimentary food or beverages. It's a buy on board service. 
But the nice thing about Smart Class is that you still get complimentary Wi-Fi whether you're in premium or Smart Class. And I think this is a really nice touch by the team here at Brightline. Moving into the next Smart Class car, it's the exact same as Smart Class car number one. Moving through car three, there's a restroom between cars three and four. Here it is to the left and this is the last smart class car. In every car, there's a luggage rack where you can store any big bags that you're traveling with. So that's a tour of the train. Let's have a quick look around the seat. Here, we have the seat back pocket, and inside the seat back pocket, there's a safety card. This has all the information on what to do in case there's an emergency on the train. Then we have this mini tray table, which can be used as a device holder if you want to watch something. Opening up the big tray table, there's plenty of space on here to get any work done or eat something. Every seat also has a coat hook and a reading light above. Since I'm sitting on the side with two seats, there are two reading lights, one for each passenger. Beneath the seats, there are power outlets and USB ports, and then here's the button to recline the seat. There's also two more additional power outlets and USB ports right next to the seats, so that way you can charge a bunch of things. just came through with the service and she just served this little raspberry cake so I'm about to eat this and continue enjoying the train ride. After three and a half hours, the Miami skyline came into view, and soon enough, we were pulling into Miami Station. Then, I stepped off the train and hopped onto the platform, bringing this train trip to an end. Make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for future travels. See you all in the next one.